Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we are all still riding high on everything that's taking place with this USC football program, and we got to talk about it. Uh, and have you guys noticed this? I've noticed something in particular when it comes to the national media uh, from, a, from a, a, a negative perspective as it relates to the USC football Trojans. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about some more things that Benny Wiley is continuing to uh, put on his resume as it relates to these USC football Trojans. They are doing some outstanding things as far as the weight gain is concerned. And we'll take a look at Woody Marks. Woody Marks came from Mississippi State SEC program. And this guy, is <laughs> he's one of the biggest weight gainers. Listen, we, we'll talk about that. Let me get to this real quick. Have you guys noticed this? And that is that the national media – when it comes to USC football, and we could talk about every school that we saw, whether it was Colorado getting big-time players in the transfer portal. You've seen Colorado doing it. Whether it was Oregon, you know, killing the transfer portal. Or whether it was Oregon dominating and recruiting at the time. Whether it was Ohio State dominating and recruiting at the time. It doesn't matter what school it is. They always blowing it up. You see these guys on YouTube blowing it up. And I'm not going to, and they're from major networks. And, and you, the only thing you can hear is Dan Lynn in this, Dan Lynn in that. You know, we were constantly hearing this on a regular basis. But have you noticed anything? Here's what I hear about USC. And you guys can tell me if you guys noticed the same thing. What I hear about USC is Juju Lewis is on flip watch. Juju Lewis is getting ready to take a trip to Alabama. Juju Lewis is going to take a trip to Colorado. Juju Lewis is going to possibly be in now crystal ball to Georgia. That's 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 pretty much all we really hear as it relates to USC. As far as the coaching staff that's been assembled together, you really understand that. Even just noticing with these guys with the past couple of days, these recruits that we've been getting. And by the way, USC is going for the number one spot. That's really what I want to talk about. Uh, we've got eight big time recruits in eight days. That really needs to be the story right now. And everybody, I told you guys that these out-of-town guys, these out-of-state guys, they're recognizing the quality of coaches, the professionalism, the the the, the technique that they're teaching, the uh, I mean, the charisma that these guys have, the experience that these guys have. And these guys from out-of-state are seizing the moment. And I told you guys, I said just the other day, I said our, our guys that are from in-state, they're going to start having to recognize this because – you only got a certain amount of, of scholarships that are going to be given um, every year. And so my thing was with our guys, you know, they got to jump on board for local guys and really, you know, not saying that they weren't on board, but, you know, I think time is of the essence now because we can ready to hit up on some of these June bashes in the May and all of these things. And you want these guys to be able to move and groove, to have an opportunity, these guys are from the local area. And so, so, but these guys are recognizing it. And now, coincidentally, our out-of-state players, they're recognizing that you guys know a couple of days in a row now we've had a couple of players from in-state, quarterback and a linebacker uh, that are have now committed to USC. And so, but here's the thing. You hear all these negative things as it relates to, to USC as far as from a negative perspective. They always, they drill USC and Lincoln Riley for not having the defensive guys around them. And now he's actually hired them, but you don't really hear emphasis placed on that. You hear just nothing but negative talk as it relates to that. And if they don't get this defense together, well, they got they're getting the defense together. And if you would even talk about or have a have a, a dialogue about the, the defensive staff that they put together, you will see that he actually is getting the defense together. And so they really essentially lost in the sauce because they don't really make reference to that. You can only make reference or point to what happened in the past. But if you if you really not addressing what's happening in the future right now, you're in denial. But we know what this is really all about because I told you guys that seeing is believing. When you see things from a national media perspective um, and you hear it and you see it, you're going to believe that because media carries a lot of weight, whether it's in politics. I'm not going to get into that, whether it's <laughs> whether it's in uh, wherever. I'm just not going to get into that. But media carries a lot of influence. That's why yours truly, USDJ, is going to constantly be on here giving you the facts, giving you the truth, because I want you guys to understand that USC is right now in prime position, and they have made some key, key position plays, key, key, key power moves. And uh, Lincoln Riley, like I told you guys before, Lincoln Riley is playing chess. He's not playing checkers. And so, 
to be just by microphone. And so as a result, USC is moving and grooving, and I think it needs to be recognized. So now you look at things like, let me pull this up. You look at things like this right here. And this, what this is, is the commitment that we just got yesterday, which uh, came from uh, uh, Tristan Castro. Uh, look, man, th this guy, even though he's a three-star prospect, a lot of people are not going to tell you. It's up USCJ. I'm going to tell you the truth about Castro. Um, he just competed in the Los Angeles uh, Under Armour 707. Guess what? He got MVP. And do you know who he was guarding a lot of times in that? I'm not going to say he had him on lock, but he had Chris Henry Jr., the big-time raw receiver, who I think USC can absolutely get a hold of and utilize and be able to be a baller as well. But listen, this is who he was guarding. This is who he was d up. And they're not going to tell you about this, though. He got MVP. You see him right there, um, number one. And he's the he's a three-star, and the rest going down, for the most part, is four-star guys. You had a couple of three-stars trickled in there. But he did win the MVP of the Under Armour Los Angeles because he's a lockdown corner. How is he getting rated? I have no idea. That is the most confusing thing to me in the world because you got a guy with lockdown corner status like this. And you guys know, I showed you guys the video. His technique is flawless. His instincts are crazy. Uh, and it's straight up go time, man. USC got themselves a baller. So when you start talking about stuff like this and these in the in how USC and Lincoln Riley has addressed the defense um in these past eight days, it is absolutely unbelievable. It's like wow, we get more defensive players than offensive players. And then when you look at something like this, this is another thing. This came out yesterday as far as the biggest commitments in March. And lo and behold, look who's look who's on that list. Look how many are on that list. Just take a look at this real quick. You see D-line Justice Terry. Uh, they got him at the number one player. Of course, he's a USC commit. Then number four is going to be Isaiah Gibson. Uh, number five, six, number seven is Hilton Stubbs. So USC has got all these things really moving and grooving right now for March. But do you hear this really moving? Do you hear this uh, the, the, the information getting, being put out there? Nobody's really – every now and then, of course, you have guys like Hayes Fawcett put that information out there. And, of course, he'll make the the uh, the uh, the nice little picture of, uh, of the commits. But, I, but for the most part, you're not really seeing these guys really address it. I was constantly seeing – I was getting so tired of seeing – and there's nothing against, nothing against Colorado because I got big love for Prime – but you were constantly seeing Colorado, you're constantly seeing Oregon. But you don't see that same type of energy uh, with the USC football Trojans. And USC right now, they're really going for the number one class when you look at this because these, some of these guys that are coming uh, in, in the next few months, man, it is about to be crazy, I'm telling you. And, let's, and check this out. Now the USC, what's really changed for USC, you guys know, is, of course, the NIL. And let the transfer portal, once this thing come rolling around, and then you couple that with the, the, the recruiting class, it is about to be absolutely insane. Now, there were a couple of people that were worried about, and I spoke of this a few minutes ago. I spoke about the negative, the negative talk as it relates to Juju Lewis. Um, Juju Lewis is constantly being put out there as a somebody who's not going to keep his commitment. I'm constantly hearing that uh, from multiple platforms. I'm constantly hearing that from mo multiple media sites. Um, Juju Lewis was here yesterday, and he enjoyed himself. And he came in for a trip. You know, it, it was it was absolutely incredible. And, uh, you know, I was invited to a spot that he was at. And uh, I, I, I was kind of lost in the sauce. I was kind of uh, found out about it. Well, I, I got hit up about it um, at the kind of not the last minute, but I was just kind of out of pocket at the time. But from my understanding, everything went well. Um, and, and I think USC is absolutely trying to keep him at the USC Trojans, you know, with the USC Trojans. So look, man, let's don't get, let's get away from the negative, the negative type stuff that they're trying to, uh, that they're trying to uh, put out there because right now, USC, this football program right now, we're on a trajectory that's going into a direction that, I mean, it, it's, it's really, it's unbelievable, man. We're, we're headed so far up and this team right now, I think, the key for us to do right now, especially as it relates to keeping these recruits, I think is to win. We have to win in order to keep these recruits. That's not even an option. But here's the thing. You guys say, oh, we have, we were so bad last year. Well, let me tell you this, man. I saw, I, I, I saw some footage 
And I will tell you this, man, this team is looking incredible. I, I, I saw some scrimmage stuff. I saw some footage. And I'm going to tell you right now, the secondary is crazy. Um, you know, the, the running backs are crazy. Um, this thing is really, really moving and grooving um, to another level. And I think it's going to be straight up go time, man. So, man, you guys can drop those comments. Um, and one more thing. I've seen big number 97. I believe that's Jai Abbasari. I saw him doing some stuff that was crazy uh, with the offensive line. And I'm telling you, these guys look bigger, faster, and explosive. And he really kind of shocked me. I had to figure out – I had to have a number – to keep my I had to ask somebody about my numbers – um, because, you know, I'm getting used to some of these new numbers. And, my God, John Abbasari looked incredible going up against this law, uh, offensive lineman. Now, I'm not going to say who it was, but listen, man, I think we're going to win at least nine to ten games. That I'm, I'm sticking to that. That's where I'm at with it, man. You guys are going to be shocked, I think, when you see this. This team looks extremely physical. Um, dog work, Eric Henderson, is really, really applying the pressure. He's putting a full-court press on these guys. You guys heard him on the Trojan Live. He's not going to settle for no type of patty cake, patty cake, Baker's man. You're going to have to tackle. You're going to have to get with it. And you're going to have to make contact, um, you know, with, 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 with the next man in front of you. And it's, that's how it's going to be, man. So you guys drop those comments. Lincoln Riley's going for the number one spot. Hit me in the comments, man. You guys tell me what you think. It's USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Listen, everybody, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I told you guys this before. My analytics for YouTube tell me over a hundred some thousand people, same people continue to visit this channel, but they don't hit that like button. They don't hit that subscribe button. Um, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button. My analytics, we right now over views, totally total views, 2.3, 2.3 million views right now. And, and it's just uh this thing continues to move and grow. But we need everybody to hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. You guys can tap in with me. I put a lot of information on YouTube, uh, not just YouTube, but on Instagram, which is USCJ32, which is, and then Twitter as well, which is USCJ32. And listen, don't forget, I've been kind of slacking, but people have been still buying, but I've been slacking. Listen, get bucked up. If you guys want any type of supplements, um, go to buckedup.com. Um, you can get energy drinks, energy shots. They have uh, a couple of testosterone boosts. They have all kinds of stuff. Natural testosterone boosts with Asuka Gwanda, Taga Ali. Use promo code USCJ32 and you will get a discount. So listen, man, I am out of here. Until later on, everybody stay blessed. Don't forget, make sure you get up, get out, and make some things happen. Until later on, fight on, fight on, fight on.